I'm very excited to give you an update on one of the new pieces of hardware we just announced, and that is the CP52 pan tilt zoom camera. Just to kind of give you an idea and stepping back, when it comes to surveying a large area, uh, we have two options. One, use a regular fisheye, which you could put it uh, on the ceiling, they call that 360, or on the wall, that's a 180 mode, and that gives you a very broad view of what's happening in front of it. The problem with this, though, is that, one, if it's very dark, the camera will struggle, and two, at distance, you're not going to get as much detail. And because of that, about a year ago, we launched the multi-sensor, which is basically four cameras into one. Each of them has five megapixels, can be pointed out manually towards the desired area, and you'll be able to use command to zoom in and out. So the multi-sensor actually offered that clarity at distance that a uh, fisheye in 360 on the ceiling will not be able to provide with the same use of just a single cable drop. But what if you actually do have a team that actively monitors the cameras and you are in a position where you do require to look at a person or a vehicle and actually actively follow them around? And this is where the new CP52 pan tilt zoom camera comes in because it gives you the ability to move the camera remotely either via the use of command, a joystick, or even an Xbox controller. The camera itself has 28x zoom and 100 meters IR range, giving you that flexibility of zooming in and being very close to the target even in nighttime conditions. You still need the same cable drop, and as well, the multi-sensor, you actually need a PoE++ power standard in order to operate. In within command, you'll be able to uh, set different presets. So with one click, the camera will move in its uh, predefined position. And further down the line, we'll be um, launching as a free firmware upgrade, the ability to have what's called a sentry mode, where the camera itself uh, moves automatically. A couple of points to note is that as opposed to all Verkada products, the PTZ does come with a reduced hardware warranty of just five years, which to be honest, compared with most PTZs on the market is improved. And the reason why we are not able to offer the 10 years is because of the many moving parts in within a, the Pantel Zoom camera itself. Secondly, you'll actually need a stronger arm mount. So as compared to the regular arm mount, we now have a new one that you'll be able to use to hang that camera on a particular wall. So let's wrap up because now we have three options to consider, uh, fisheye, the multi-sensor and the pan tilt zoom camera. The first question you have to ask yourself is, are you actively gonna operate the camera? Because if so, you will need a pan tilt zoom camera. If not, that's gonna be a waste of time. Remember the pan tilt zoom camera only focuses on a particular point and will disregard everything else. In that case where you actually want to survey a big area and you want to make sure that most, if not all of it is covered, you should be looking at uh, either a fisheye or a multi-sensor. And from here, it's really up to you to decide because obviously the multi-sensor is more expensive, but it gives you that ability to see more clearly at distance and in low light conditions. If you have any further questions, do drop me a, a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.